my aces up here. A great way to calculate stack size at the table is to use what we call M or CSI. It's similar to calculating a stack amount when using BBs, except we don't divide our stack amount by just the big blind. Rather, the big blind, the small blind, and any antis in play. Most top tournament players prefer this system over the big blind system because it accounts for any antis in play and the size of the antis, as well as the number of players at the table. So let's practice calculating stack size using M. So here, our player with 3,000 chips, we simply divide it by the amount in the pot. So this player's M is 3,000 divided by 475 is an M of around 6. As we said, they can survive 6 orbits. However, before the antis were introduced, this player's M was 3,000 divided by 300, so M10. Now we have a system that changes how we interpret the stack size to reflect the change in the blinds and antis. Better than using BBs. Lee Nelson also realised this and recommended this system. However, rather than call it M, he refers to it as CSI, or the Chip Stack Index. So M and CSI are the same thing, and now when you hear these important terms, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Simply the stack size divided by the amount in the pot at the start of the hand. Lee refers to this amount in the pot at the start of the hand as the cost per round. So M is a stack size divided by the CPR. Let's calculate the M's around the table here. When we do this, it's okay to round up or down a little. So here with 475 in the pot, let's make it 500. So we said M6 here. This player has 4,500. So 4,500 divided by 500 is 9. So this player has M9. Almost M7 here. M11. M2. And M18. And this guy here seems to be really struggling with an M of under 1. Now you know how to calculate M. Make sure you check out how that affects winning tournament strategy.